Hi, my name is David Campos and I'm going to talk a little bit about computer recording software. Uh, welcome to my studio. Mi casa su casa as they say. Uh, I'm going to, today I'm going to talk a little bit about what is computer recording software. Computer recording software is software that runs on a computer that you can use to record music, voices, that you can mix, master, that you can apply effects like reverberation, EQ, compression, noise gates, etc, etc. Et so today, I'm just going to show you a little bit of what is possible with computer recording software. You know, a lot of people out there don't know that music is actually made on computers these days. Even uh, live music, music like Nora Jones, music like uh, John Mayer, all of that music is recorded on computers these days. Uh, you know, music doesn't have to sound like it's been done on computers for it to have been recorded on computers. Uh, so let's let's get cracking. All right, what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you how we can record a song from scratch. We won't do vocals today, but what we'll do is we'll compose the song and uh, program it from scratch. And I'll start with something that's uh, kind of an urban. So let's start. I'm using Logic. You could be using Cubase or Pro Tools, but pretty much all these software pro packages are the same. So this is an empty project. I'll start with uh, maybe 10 software instruments. So I'm creating 10 software instrument channels on Logic. And I'm going to add uh, 10 audio channels, which we can use for recording our vocals later. Mono, output 1 and 2. So, this is the interface of a computer recording software package. Also known as a DAW, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. So, what we're going to do here, let's start. Let's do something housey. I'm thinking uh, Urban House. Tempo 120... This is the tempo down here, if you, if you see here. Um, let's make the tempo, let's make a 125. Now just to show you some of the powerful tools we have, I mean for example, uh, if I load, now this, if I come on the left here you can see, uh, I can load um, a software instrument. So these are virtual instruments that run inside the software. And this gives you the ability to basically record and program your instruments within Logic. So I'm going to go, this is a product called Stylus RMX. Stylus RMX can be run inside Logic, it can be run inside Cubase. It's a third-party plugin that you buy from Spectrasonics. It's called Stylus RMX. So just to give you an example, just to show you how I use this. Uh, let's say for example I want a 4-4 bass drum so I come here go to groove elements yes kicks 4-4 four, four kicks these are different kicks so let's see Okay, I like that one, I like that one, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag the MIDI file, here it is here, I just drag it, and there it is, it's in Logic. Now you can see that MIDI file, I can close this now, you can actually see that MIDI file, I'll just uh, zoom in a bit here, sorry, hold on, that's too much. Um, you can actually see the file uh, down here, if you look over here. This is where the notes are. So that's one kick, second kick, third kick, fourth kick. Uh, we could change that. I mean, we could go, just hold on. I'm just going to create a cycle. That's a cycle. That makes it loop. Uh, so let's see here. Let's say I wanted to move this one there. Let me shorten that one. Listen to that. We could move that one over there. Maybe delete that one just to show you. Okay, as you can see up here, this is the sequence of the kick 
that uh, needs to be looped. So it's only going for one bar at the moment from bar one to bar two. So we just loop that. As you can see, it's just the button that I click. Or you can go up here on the over there and click loop on, loop off. Okay, now I'm going to undo all of that and get it right back to 4-4 four, four kick. Put a loop back on it because we're doing house music here. And uh, Urban House has to have a 4-4 four, four kick. So that'll loop just like that. We can now uh, duplicate that instrument. As you can see, I've created another instrument exactly the same. Stylus Mix again. Now, let's look for some uh, some hi hats or something. Let's see, there's hi hats. Let's see if we got you. When we want something around closer to the 120s. This is the BPM on the left here, so let's see what that sounds like. I like that. Listen to that. Okay, so let's play with that. Let's add that in. Now these sounds are out the box. I mean, these are loops and these are grooves that come in the Stylus RMX package. You don't have to use pre-fabricated uh, loops. You can create your own loops. You can program the hi-hats on a keyboard. You can uh, program them in. You can even change the ones that come. If you can see down here, these are the notes of the hi-hats. You don't have to see it just like that, but you know, just for the purpose of this to show you how easy it is. So let's let's uh, let's get a snare going here. You know, for me, I usually start with drums. You know, this is a we're living in an age now where drums and uh, beat is actually just as important as the melody and the the sort of songwriting. If if the song doesn't have a groove to it, then nobody's gonna want to listen to it. So let's put some claps. Let's see, what we got gotcha. you. And we can even uh, audition this with the track, so we could play here, and then push play. Okay, I like that. I like that, but what I'm going to do, I don't like the way that it's like echoing. So I'm going to, let's just, uh, actually we can... We can actually make this bigger, just check at this. This is how brilliant logic is. Logic is just extremely kind of all in one. Everything works together in the same place. It makes it very uh, streamlined and easy to work. So these are all the sort of echoes that we're going. I just want this, the clap to be on two and four. I'm actually muting these notes, by the way. These white ones, I've muted them. Okay, now I'm going to also just look at my cycle. I'm moving it back to bar 2. So I'm only got one bar. I'm going to loop that. So we got kick, hi-hat, claps. Uh, let's, let's, add, um, let's add some bass. Um, I think bass would be good. So now, as you can see, I have a library over here. These are a collection of all my sounds in Logic. And it's the same in Cubase and uh, Pro Tools. You can have your own sounds and libraries, which some of them come standard with a software, with a computer recording software. And some of them you have to add and buy. And, you know, there's thousands of libraries out there that you can add to this. So let's, let's put a synth bass. Let me find something. I'm just going to plug my keyboard in with a USB so that I can now play this bass. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm playing that now. Uh, actually, let's stop. I'll record me playing on the keyboard. You can see how I actually play it into the song now. Okay, uh, he, has, he has an idea I've come up with for a bass line. I mean, it took me just 10, 10 seconds. Two, three, four. OK, 
Okay, so as you noticed, I only played 10 seconds of that. And the reason for that is uh, we can just loop the bass now. So. So that's where we're going to loop it at bar 5, which is exactly 4 bars. So we cut the cycle in there, we push loop, boom, it's looped. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope you got a little bit of insight about how computers are used to record music. As I said, not only can we do uh, electronic and sort of program music, but also live music can be recorded in the same way. Usually what we do from there is we would add vocals, we would do uh, you know, keyboards or whatever, whatever. Uh, there's many many things, synthesizers, samples, and we, that could be added. You know, the, the whole process is basically a layering effect. You start with a foundation which would be your drums, then you'd add your bass, your keyboards, your vocals, so it's a layering effect. Um, it's not the only way to record music, as I said, you know, a, a lot of people write songs on their guitars, on their keyboards, on their pianos, and then we will take that song to the computer and say, how can we do this now? What would be the right beat? What's the right tempo? What's the right instruments we'd want to use in this song? So that's the job of a producer, and that's the job of a beat programmer, and a sound engineer also helps in that process. And uh, I hope I've just given you a little bit of insight into how simple and how easy it is to do. Thanks for joining me. I'm David Campos, and uh, you can also check out my one of my websites, ecomputerrecordingsoftware.com. Please make a comment.